Okay, this one we're going to call 3D text, and it's just a basic way to make your text look 3D. You can actually modify this to make a pretty cool looking logo in Flash. So let's open up ActionScript 3.0, and I'm going to go ahead and save it. 3D letters. So let's grab the text tool and just write the name. I've already got a font that I like picked out and the font size is about, this is about uh, 250 stages, 800 by 600. And what you want to do is break apart and then break apart again and then let's go get a gradient. You can either access it here or you could also access it here. Solid color, linear gradient, radial gradient, we call it different settings. But linear gradient is the one we want. And you can see it's affecting uh, each letter independently, but I want it to spread across the whole thing. So I'm going to use the paint tool to click, and, and then it just it sort of unites them all. But you'll notice it's very faint. And so what has happened is the last time I used this tool, got moved around so each time you, you access the tool it could be in a different position or something but you, you just know to go looking for it. I've actually even just had to scroll way off to the side to find the center point in, in some times so just so you're aware. Anyways we've got this now and I actually want to use white as a shiny effect on it so if the stage is pure white then it's, the shiny is not here noticeable. So I'm going to change the stage to gray. Then I'm going to uh, name this layer name. That's my name. We make another layer called shadow. And then another layer called shiny. And I want name to be at the top, shiny to be under that, and then shadow. And now just so you can see what's going on, uh, I'm going to click here and hit copy and hide it. That way you can see that nothing is on these layers. So on the shiny layer, I'm going to want to command shift V or control shift V if you're on Windows. And the shiny I want to be white. Okay, so now just looking at what we have now, if I unselect or unhide the name, you can't even see the shiny. If I click on the shiny layer, so it selects everything when it's on that layer, and then use the arrow keys to nudge it up and to the left, it emerges out from behind it. Same thing is going to happen with uh, the shadow. I'm going to click on name, command C, go down to the shadow layer, command shift V. Actually, let me hide that so you can really see it being pasted. And now I'm going to make it black and 50% transparent. Click off. Of course, if I unhide everything, you can't see the shadow, but if we scoot it down into the light, you can see it. And really, essentially at this point, we're done. I mean, that's, that's the effect. But there's a few more things you can do. Uh, looking at the shadow layer, I'm going to try Modify, Shape, Soften Fill Edges. And it's, I think it's already set to 10 and 4. What that does, you can kind of see it expanded a little bit. You zoom in real good, you can see these are the four steps that expanded the fill. And the overall effect is it just makes it look a little softer. And you can also nudge it down into the right more and more if you think it looks good. Um, I don't think I'll go that far with it. But there you go, that's 3D text.